Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear friends, we are so happy to be with you today. We are your family of light. We are the angelic realm, with the heavenly host, and I am Archangel Michael. We join with the Council of the Golden Dawn Temple, the specific lineage with which Meredith is affiliated, and you, and your entire entourage as we like to say, of non-physical friends and reflections, the reflections of you throughout creation that are connected to you, to create with you this powerful communion of light. It is this connection within each of us to the oneness that we are, the source of all that is, the creation awareness, that we ignite this field of light for the purpose of assisting you around what you think of and call and experience as money. Now we wish to say, with a great sense of humor and a big smile as you would think of it, you do know, of course, that money is simply particles. Whether it be the actual physical object of money or the idea of money that you have, be it the digital transactions of money or the emotions you feel about money, all of this is simply energy given specificity and thus appearing in your experiences as simply particles. Every particle of energy within creation is this oneness we speak of, so you and money are intrinsically of the same lineage and of the same energy stuff, which is living particles of light. Let us begin by reminding you and saying quite clearly, there is no separation in any way between you and money. There is actually no between with you and money. There is simply distinctness, the same way there is distinctness between you and I distinctness is an aspect of creation a way in which frequency defines form and non-form into focus or particular expressions. The only reason for that is not to create separation, but it's the particularness which allows us to play, to play, and create an experience and expand. That's all. There's no separation between you and money. All of this is very fluid, very flexible, very malleable. Yet, as you well know, in human experience it doesn't feel this way. In human experience there are diverse experiences, expressions, and ideas about money and with money. Truly, this diversity is actually very beneficial if you perceive it accurately. Because all of that points out to you how very particular and specifically each of you have created your own relationship with money. That diversity demonstrates to you that there are not consistent, pervasive, eternal truths about money which you are living with. It demonstrates to you just how flexible and fluid your relationship with money really is. We hope you can get this. We hope you can really get this. The photo we had Meredith choose for this post is really different. She's used to choosing some photo that feels really exhilarated and uplifted. The one we chose for this sore fest, and we kind of said, yes, use this one is the one with all the different kinds of paper currency. This is useful in thinking about what we're talking about. Meredith noticed that when she looked at this photo she felt kind of neutral and blah about it. It didn't have a big, zingy energy. She also noticed that she felt more neutral about currency that isn't hers, that wasn't hers. That her own currency had a certain energy, while the other currency just felt like paper and images. Do you see this when you look at this picture? It is a reminder that the meaning of money has been created, ascribed. This being the case, of course, with all things. Stories and beliefs are created just as shoes and kitchen tables are created. They are constructed by sustained focus. Of course, you can change these stories to serve you or perhaps, if you wish even shift beyond all stories into a wide open state of direct living and freedom. We know that it's hard for you to know exactly how to get from where you are now to there. In our time together we will help. We will together start by loosening up stuff, by showing you, with great love and tenderness, how rigid most of you have become in your ideas about money so that you can start, if you'd like, to change this. Many of you don't realize how locked in you can be, how even those of you experiencing quite great abundance are still generally somewhat inflexible in your ideas about money. 
Most of you have ideas that create a feeling above which you generally do not really expect to rise in terms of financial abundance and in terms of the quality of your relationship with money. We would like to just explode that idea, just toss it right out, and have you look openly and vastly at what life might really be like for you as you choose now, from the platform in which you are now, what would be good now. You can always choose something different later. What might life look like for you now, without these limiting ideas being so firmly embraced and so consistently energized? We also welcome this opportunity to consider the most fundamental aspects of money, the original energy that spurred the creation of money, the pure template of money, so that you might reclaim a fundamental appreciation of the true intention, and therefore capacity, of money. A reacquainting with the reason you use money and how it might really serve you. All of you. All of you. No one's left out of this. All of you. So much better if you were to relate to it with a more clear awareness of its function and its capacity, its uniqueness. In fact, we want you to get to know money, but directly. We plan to speak on behalf of money and help you to see how money, like the devil or french fries, has been demonized in your world. We'd like to liberate the energy of money from these limiting ideas and notions so that money could flow even more freely. Which can happen, in fact quite easily, if you are to smash some of these notions that you are holding collectively. The beginning of that will be this group of people loosening up about these ideas. We also want to share with you how money flowing freely relates to the environment. Yes, to nature. Money flowing freely relates to an enhanced energy on your planet that affects the earth. Energy that is stagnant, and the effort to contain it, pulls life force into a repressed state. It limits flow. This is true at an individual level in your own life. It is true collectively on your planet. It's interesting, isn't it? There are wars and such about energy. Then there is so much energy in money that it's being put into a straitjacket so that none of you get out of control. That's really the reason that there was so much fear instilled into different aspects of your culture, because of your ideas about money. We don't mean that someone came in and decided to scare the heck out of all of you. But there has been a tremendous momentum of fear around money. We will talk about that too. You may not have considered some of the things we are going to share with you. That is why we are so pleased to have this opportunity, this invitation that you have given us. Receive it, because in your hearts you have asked to open up this full construct more and to clean up things around money. We are really happy to answer, join with you, and happy to have this time with you. So that we might, from our expanded perspective not in the material, help to shape the conversation and steer you into the wide open spaces you love so much. You were really made for wide open spaces. It's much more natural for you to feel free. You came here planning to access the fullness of your being and play with the immense diversity of form from a wide open, free, spacious consciousness. We would like to begin today opening up consciousness in your experience more. Allow yourself to intentionally choose in this moment to open your heart. If your heart is already open, have a sense of inviting yourself to open more. Just take a moment. Close your eyes. Turn inward. Intentionally open up your heart more. By doing this we ask you to not only open to all that you are, but to open to the world so you can invite your essence, your higher self, in its fullness to flow in more and more. Also to assist you in opening up to the world with more confidence. We'd like to invite you to choose, right here, right now, to make a commitment, a decision. We're big on decision. Choose now. Choose more often. Let life be easier. Make more decisions. Decisions make things happen. Decisions say, I choose this, not that, and things happen. We'd like to invite you to choose, right here, right now, to allow yourself to change everything you think about money. What we'd like to do is have you drop everything you thought you knew. Allow yourself to imagine that you've landed here on earth in this life today, 
starting with a totally fully refreshed presence, which is happening anyway. If you acknowledge it, every moment can be a clear slate. We'd like you to really consciously embrace this idea. Allow us, your family of light with whom you are now going to spend a little time, to explain and share and help you get oriented to everything in relationship to money from a clear perspective, so that you can really enjoy the game here. We can do this, you know. We can bring in the energy to help you sweep the slate clean. You have to let us in for that to happen. If you'd like, you can do that. If so, say it now, Archangel Michael, wipe the slate clean for me of all I know of money. I'm ready for a fresh start. I'm ready to meet money directly and reimagine my relationship based on what money really is. Think of this like you're meeting a famous person, a famous person in person for the first time. We'd like you to stop reading the tabloids about money. We'd like you to stop thinking you know what and who and how money is because you've seen money in a movie, or have read articles on a blog post, or read about it in a magazine. Just let it all go. Affirm this to yourself with me, I am not going to let the world tell me what money is. I'm going to understand this directly from within because money, like all energy forms, has an originating structure, which you can tune into and start to relate to directly. In these conversations that we will have with you, we're going to revise the way you experience money. We can do this so profoundly, and so fundamentally, that you will feel the most fun and most powerful relationship to this amazing thing we all call money start to happen. The beginning of this is that feeling. Allow yourself. All of you have a strong relationship to the non-physical. That's why you would come to an experience such as this, where an angel from the non-physical speaks directly to you, in communion with other non-physical energies, trying to assist you in your participation in the material. All of you have a strong awareness, a strong relationship in your awareness to the non-physical. It's a real thing to you. Trust it. Trust it. Allow us to assist with this. It can really be so much more fun. Affirm to yourself all day today that you've never really met money directly and you're excited to do so. Just create a fertile, spacious openness to whatever degree you can today. If you do this, you will feel lighter, you will open up your field to more clarity and in our next transmission you will be available in a new way. You will be present with new, direct ideas about money from your own inner knowing and your own experience, and with a willingness to be introduced to money in a completely new way. We are very excited to be with you. We are your family of light. I am Archangel Michael.